Okay, hey ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Blake here, Flush Man, today with a little, um, this is a little uh, routine for the morning, a little routine to get the good start of the day, or as well uh, as well you can do in the evening before going to, uh, to bed, alright? This is an awesome little routine, alright? So, this is the bathroom, it's in the bathroom here, we're going to do a few things here. We're going to do a few things here with the sink here, such as the neti pot here. The nasal douche where you you pour you pour the water with the sea salt wherever you're putting it up the nostril goes up the nostril out the other nostril and cleans the hemispheres of the brain balances the brain clears out glands including the pituitary gland um, connected to the pineal gland as well it's gonna you know balance the hemispheres of the brain and give you whole brain function you know right so this one here is a nice little uh, clay pot and then. We also have a little bit of Himalayan sea salt here to add to the water. So we'll get the water started here. Of course you can use uh, filtered water or charged water with crystals or whatever you want. But uh, you know, clean it out nice and good as well. Make sure it's nice and clean. And I do like uh, whatever water you're using to be slightly a little bit warm as well. Right, uh, it just uh, is a little bit easier. It's, it's quite nice to have a little bit warm. You can do it cold too. I mean, it's, it's totally a personal preference. I just personally like it a little warm like this. And then uh, here we go. We add the Himalayan sea salt here. A little bit of Himalayan sea salt. And that's why also it's a little warm so it helps that to dissolve as well. And you can have uh, a little spoon or use your toothbrush, whatever you want. Stir it around, dissolve it up. But while it's dissolving there, then I go over here and start up the bathtub here. So we'll go and do that. And uh, over here, boom, over there on the on the on the uh, toilet top there, we have the two ingredients we're going to add. That is um, Epsom salts and uh, Redmond clay. Uh, Redmond clay there. That is a powerful clay deposit on the earth, like a a couple million years ago. And uh, I'll talk about that in a bit, but we'll get the uh, bathtub started here and you do the routine here. Get this going. Alright, and uh, throw the Epsom salts here. Epsom salts are really good. Uh, absorbs into the skin, the largest external organ in the body. Nice amount of Epsom salt, and you can pick up Epsom salt for really inexpensive there at the Palmore Health Food Stores. The red men play will add in a bit, and I'll talk about that here in a bit. Uh, let's move back over. As well as the Epsom salts and the clay, of course, you can always use uh, some Dead Sea and Himalayan sea salt, so I'll probably use that as well. We'll talk about those products. So the uh, the bath is already getting pretty full, so let's check this. Yeah, most of it has dissolved here. And uh, one more little ingredient we're going to add. Just, uh, just a, a little touch of the... Uh, this one's the coconut oil. Actually, I was, I was thinking it might be the castor oil. Uh, we'll, we'll just go with the, with the sea salt, the Himalayan sea salt there. Okay, I'll just uh, shut off the bath there. So this is a nice little routine here. All right. So in the morning and before in the evening, going to bed is both great. Here we go. Put place it in the nostril, and 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 bend and and lean forward to the side this way so it can go up and come out there drainage like this. And then just breathe through it. The first few times you do it, you might feel like you're drowning. And you might, you know, not be able to talk, and you might, you know, it might feel uncomfortable or painful. But then these glands in here, in your eyes, below your eyes, and in your jaw, will open up, and uh, then there won't be any pain or resistance. It'll just be open and clear. And that's why I suggest if you use a little bit of a warmer water, it helps to uh, to go through easier, and your body to have less resistance. It's like I've done some cold, cold enemas with ocean water before, and uh, 
and it was really cold and, and kind of cramped the intestines a little bit. Even though I'm really glad I didn't have a lot of benefits, it was uh, definitely a shock to the intestines where it's not used to getting cold like that. So here we'll turn it to the left. The other side, you got to balance the sides out. There we go. And by balancing the bowl doing both sides is how you balance the hemispheres of the brain. If you just do one side, you will notice you're kind of slightly off-centered in your brain as well as your thinking patterns. And you'll feel a little bit maybe even dizzy to one side and unbalanced when you walk. And then as soon as you do the other side, it balances it out and you, you have perfect balance on the hemispheres. And then it just slowly adjusts more and more. So breathe through it and just breathe. There we go. Clean it out. And we basically got all of it there. So that's a little routine of that. Um, then of course you go and brush your teeth too. And then what we got over here is maybe you might not do in the morning like if you got to go to work or something. But if you work at home or something, then I really highly recommend this. The fermented urine here for the friendly collagens, the skin on the, on the face or, or other parts of the body. Or you could, we could also add some of this to the bathtub here. But you know it's really as simple as putting it on your hands like this just like this and, and rubbing it in your skin, rubbing it in and this is the number one cosmetic um, in the world here for the skin and the collagen for healthy skin, vibrant and alive skin here so I'm going to get back into this routine and see what happens here after a few months of this every day you can put it all over your body and this also contains hormones uh, hormones that will uh, also you know protect you spiritually you know protect your aura and also women of the opposite sex uh, will also pick up on those hormones and uh, you know so kind of interesting too to do that and uh, there we go we got that part and uh, and just one more little tip here is if I, if I move down here a little secret thing boom you wouldn't have seen unless I came down here this here is my uh, my little secret uh, enema thing here in the videos I, I make these my glass jar enemas here that can hold 120 ounces of liquid which is like you know two to three times more than the normal plastic ones that are 48 ounces it's like two and a half more times over four liters and uh, so then you know I just have it there like this most of the time and if I have company over or whatever I just put it up under the sink in here just in there and then it's easy to move and, and move around and uh, that's part of my little routine too so I'll do those when feeling fit all right then boom we come over here back over here and we'll get this bath uh, we'll get this bath going here with a few more ingredients. All right, so we got uh, we got a couple. We got the Epsom salts in there already. Here's the clay, the Redmond clay. I'll tell you what this one says here. Many years ago, long before the Earth knew pollutants of any kind, a range of volcanoes erupted, seeding volcanic ash into the water of the ancient Sundance Sea that covered mo much of North America. The water in this sea evaporated leaving behind a bed of mineral rich bentonite clay. Near the s a small town of Redmond, Utah, we extract this ancient volcanic ash now resting deep within the earth and bring it to you its pure natural state. Redmond clay contains over 50 natural trace minerals essential to human health. All right, it goes through this, calcium, iron, iodine, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, magnesium, chromium, chloride, sodium, and potassium. So electrolyzing as well. And of course, this is also um, edible. I have tried it here already. And you, know, you take something like this on your, in, your, in your fan, like that much, like that, 
and you put that in your mouth and uh, you won't believe it. Your, your mouth just turns so dry, there's absolutely... Yeah, I don't know if you were able to see that as I was talking here. Let's, let's do this back. Well, that was, this is the red men clay. You got the story of it. The clay, the bentonite clay from Utah with all the mineral rich. But here what I was saying is, you lick your finger like this, you go in and you grab a little chunk like that. And just for testing, you know, to see the power of this. Because bentonite clay is one of the uh, uh, polars of toxins through the body by binding uh, particles in the body and toxins and, and, and bring them through the body along with fiber to help bring them through, broom them through. So if you take about this much here like this and look, hmm? oh, like <coughs> exactly, I want to show you the power. It's like uh, your whole mouth just goes dry and there's absolutely no saliva and there's no, you know, it's amazingly powerful. Uh, nice minerals it tastes so good so you know you get some of that in there you know sprinkle a little dose of that on there and this is awesome for the skin and the body all right this is awesome and then as well we got more of that Himalayan cheese so there just put some of that in as well you know get a bag of this stuff it's cheap too and just throw in a bunch of that or the Dead Sea salt too another another uh, mineral salt that has been around for millions of years the deposits in the Dead Sea there so another one there and then uh, there we go a little little bonus there the fermented urine as well right there a little bit of that get that friendly skin collagen and that's great for the enemas as well big time all right huge antioxidant so there it is and then I also sometimes I save the water and then have a cold one later on in the afternoon or add just enough hot water to make it bearable but nice and cold like that is very refreshing too. All right. So there is just a little routine you could uh, add as well or give you some inspiration for some ideas of your own routines in the morning. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm Jordan Blake, Lear Flushman. We'll see you next time.